The Lagos State Government, through the Lagos State Environmental Sanitation Corps, has insisted on a total clampdown on alcohol sales, street trading, and hawking on roadsides, major highways, parks, and garages. This is as the state government has vowed to sustain its ongoing enforcement operation against these environmental defaulters in the state. As part of renewed effort geared to rid Lagos metropolis of these manners. This disclosure is contained in a recent statement by the Corps Marshal of Lagos Environmental Sanitation Corps, CP Bemisola Akimpelu, who added that street trading on roadsides, pedestrian bridge, and hawking on major highways constitute a violation of the state environmental laws which has established the illegality of this act. CP Bemisola Akimpelu expressed the determination of the agency to clamp down on all environmental defaulters, especially those displaying alcohol for sale in Lagos parks and garages. She vowed that the Lagos Environmental Sanitation Corps enforcement drive would be consolidated, adding that there is no hiding place for street traders and hawkers in the state. She also remarked that the ongoing enforcement against hawkers of alcohol in the state garages and parks has been positive, stating that the agency has made numerous arrests just as it was able to secure the arraignment and sentences of suspects by the court. Admonishing street traders and hawkers to stay clear of Lagos roads, the Corps Marshal issued directive to the agency's special squad to increase the enforcement drive by apprehending the defaulters for arraignment on a daily basis and their seized wares be placed in the agency's storage facility. She further revealed that the state environmental laws provide for the onward distribution of seized perishable goods to orphanage homes on a daily basis and non-perishable goods be kept in storage until a court order is secured for public auction while generated funds are remitted to the state coffers. CP Gbemisola Akimpelu also highlighted the continuous need for pedestrian to use strategically erected pedestrian bridge across major highways in the state to avoid being knocked down by overspeeding motorists. The Lagos State Government had always maintained its opposition to the sales and consumptions of alcoholic drinks by motorists at parks, garages, and roadsides. The state government and agencies like the Federal Road Safety Corps FRSC, have sustained campaigns against drinking and driving in a bid to cope road accidents. The campaign has been premised on the fact that taking alcoholic drinks before or while driving predisposes drivers to the possibility of having road accidents. But quite a number of drivers have not heeded the warning of the campaign. This habit by commercial vehicle drivers is also being encouraged by the continuous sales of alcoholic drinks in different sizes in parks across the state despite its ban. Lagos Environmental Sanitation Corps had a few weeks ago seized alcoholic drinks worth millions of naira during a recent raid on parks and garages in the state, with the government expressing concern over the alarming rate of liquid drink sell in garages, motor parks, roadsides, and in traffic. Meanwhile, the Lagos State Government had a few days ago monitored street traders in the state, especially on the Third Mainland Bridge and Eco Bridge, declaring zero tolerance for street trading in the areas and vowing to prosecute violators in mobile courts. The Permanent Secretary, Office of Environmental Services, Gaji Omobolaji Tajudin, had maintained that the action by the state government is in line with the agenda of Governor Babajide Sanwolu 
to promote a cleaner and more aesthetic environment in Lagos, ensure total enforcement of the environmental sanitation laws, and create a safer state for all. The statement concluded. <laughs>